What's up guys? Uh, so today I want to show you how to make uh, the IKF key rig. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Blender. In my case this is Blender 2.91 and what I want us to do is to create a simple leg which we will be using to create our IKFK um, chain which I'll show you. So it's loading up. Okay, so let's open the zero. Sorry about this. Okay. Now, what we're going to do um, is delete this. We're going to delete this cube. And then we're going to add a plane. Good. Just like that. Oh, let me undo. Uh, I, I think we'll just use the default key. No need for the head. And we're going to edit the map. Uh, you can do that by clicking this or clicking tab. Then what we are going to do is we are going to scale this cube. Um, scale it down by pressing yes. And then we're going to scale it up by pressing the S Z. By pressing G and Z. Then what we're going to do is we're going to convert this cube into a foot into a leg, basically. So a simple leg. So we'll add a loop cut in the middle. Another loop cut. Another loop cut. Basically, we'll add four loop cuts. And then another one right here for the foot. And um, W. Then we're going to select the face. Click this and we're going to select the face. Then we are going to extrude the face like that. Just press E and extrude, extrude the face in the Z axis. Uh, scale it down. Press G to move it so that it becomes flat. It's flat looking. Um, and scale it to Y axis. So that you have something else. that looks like a foot. So basically you want something that can bend like a foot for our, 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 uh, our leg mechanism. And then, um, uh, let's uh, go to the edge selection mode, press out, then click this loop, then slide it down, press out, click this loop, slide it down by pre double pressing G. If you want to slide the loop, you double press G. And then, what we are going to do, in fact, we want to make a new, we want to make a new. Um, so let's add a loop cut in the middle and another loop cut here. We'll see. Uh, I, I want to make a new. So what we're going to do? Um, we'll have to adjust this place uh, right here. But it's just fine. This cannot uh, perfectly. It's good enough. Now this will be our leg. This is what we will use to create our IKFK mechanism. Leave the faces from above, just like so. This is. Therefore, we have a, a box leg, just like this. Okay. Now, since we are not here for the model, we want to add an armature. We want to add a box. We press Shift A. Then you add an armature, single bone. Um, it's somewhere, it's in the middle of the box. You press uh, the x ray, then you can see it, and let's uh, change the view for the armature to be in front, right here, in this place, object data properties, then viewport display in front, so that we can see the bone. And then let's go to the edit map. What we're going to do, uh, let's view the axis. 
we are going to able to make this um we're going to flip this one so you press out the flip it then you press the water to move it up want to move it up and i want the v axis to face this direction so i'm going to rotate the bone yeah, that's what we want. And then um, uh, let's view the wire. Let's grab this, bring it down here, right to the wheel, and then let's extrude this one further, bring it right here right to the heel and then we are going to extrude this and extrude this so we have our foot there we have our foot our foot our foot I'm sorry about that uh, had a bit of a crash so um, I don't like the way uh, everything is facing me in the, in the way I set up things. So what I'm going to do, I want to rotate everything so that I'm working uh, with the x facing the x-axis like this. So in that case, what I'm going to do is go back into the edit mode, then choose this object. I'm going to rotate this object um, um, in the so that this foot faces the y-axis. So I'm going to press R. Z then 90 like that and I'm going to press do the same for the amateur press uh, R Z 90 and since um, I I I do things uh, in the object mode I'm going to recalculate the everything therefore I'm going to select everything just like that and press control A and I'm going to um, apply all transforms so that I don't mess up the cells and the transforms and the rotations. Um, therefore, um, I'm going to select the bone, get back into the mode, and I'm going to remove everything. First of all, We'll, we'll have to subdivide these things because they're only there to be. You know, actually, let's work with the simple IKEA mechanism first of all. So, I'm not going to sub subdivide it. If I was going to make a more complex IKEA mechanism, then I would, I would definitely subdivide this. But for now, uh, that's not, uh, that won't be necessary. Okay, I'm going to remove these bones, and to do that, you're going to select the individual bone, come to the um, object data properties. I mean, uh, come to the um, bone property, and then uh, I'm going to call this um, depth i dot. I'm just going to call it depth time because uh, it's not uh, it's not uh, doesn't belong to a body that we need to be symmetrized. So we're just working with one portion of the body. So there is no need for dot R or dot L. Then this I'm going to rename to depth she. Um, I'm going to rename this. Foot and this as death foot. It's it's really helpful to always always keep a naming convention for the bones because it can get really confusing if you don't keep something here, label things 
uh, in a way that you can understand. Things really pile up and it becomes really confusing. Uh, it's really important and I will show you why. Okay. I remember the purpose of this whole tutorial is to make um, not an IK mechanism but an IK FK switch. And uh, making an IK mechanism is a very simple thing because it's only one cost to make a few things you need to do to the setup. But an IK FK mechanism is a complex, uh, complex thing to do. And so it requires, it requires a lot of um, thinking. What I want to do um, for this, I, w I want to set up a uh, that essentially will control everything in the system. And therefore, I want to duplicate um, this form. Okay. And I want to rotate it in the x axis. Rotate. Then I'm going to want to place it um, at the floor. So right about here. So this so this uh, shall become uh, this. And um, before I do anything, um, let's clear the, the parent. So I'll clear parent for the root. What I want I want for all the deformation blocks to be parented to the root plane, but I'll do that a bit later. For now, what I want to do um, is duplicate and create a target chain so that our deformation bones and our shape will essentially be free of any constant apart from maybe a copy a copy located a transform um, a copy transform constant I want them to be free of con multiple constants and so I will have to place another bone system so that will drive this essentially so in order to do that I will have to um, there's the, there are these two arguments um, that I want to use that will be really instrumental comes to, to this tutorial. Um, the good news is that they are free. Now let me enable the different section. And that will be the simple view. Yeah, so it's called the simple view. I shall, I shall give you a link to the other. Um, as you can see right here, we have the simple view. And the other add-on I want to remember it's called the bone layer manager. Bone layer manager, as you can see right here. So I have two add-ons: the simple view and the bone layer manager. So those add-ons shall be instrumental in this tutorial. Okay, now fine. I want to place um, all the deformation bones in a layer we are doing for the world view. Now these all these are deformation bones. And I want to make sure that they are, they are not parented to each other. That they will only be parented to the root bone. But before I do that I will have to duplicate them and change them into something else. So this shall be our deformation there. And this shall be our root, our root, our root, our root. You always want to make sure the root bone has no, cannot be formed um, with it. It shall not have any deformation power on the mesh itself. Um, so you, you go to the <coughs> Go to the bond property and you disable the forms of the root. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the whole leg chain by pressing 
I have a, uh, another chain. And then the duplicated chain is going to be placed in the target layer. Just like so. Just press this. This remove all selected ones into, into uh, the, the desired layer. This time the dot here. Then what we are going to do rather than come and remove every bone that we have duplicated, we are going to go to a simple view and then here we are going to go to, um, to the simple view and then the target shall be the bone here as you can see. Not object, not material, but the bone. We select the bone. And then we are going to search for depth. And we are going to replace the depth with TDP, which will be our target. Search and replace. And just like that, we have replaced um, the target bone, the bone layer. As you can see, it's no longer the depth but the target bone with the second layer. While the first layer, we replace our depth.